Hi, it's Darnell with Way Oven Recipes. Got yet another new toy to show you here. So, I'm going to do this unboxing here with you. This is the New Wave Medley XL 12 inch digital skillet. Let me try and get it out of the box. came with this and I ordered direct from New Wave. I'll, I'll explain why I ordered direct from New Wave even though New Wave charges extra handling fees in a bit. But this skillet is uh, basically, unlike other skillets, it's got a digital display. I'll just show you here. It's got a digital display. <clears throat> so basically it can keep temp even like a skillet. It also can be set to do a certain amount of time. So most skillets you can't have a timer that they auto shut off after a set period of time. This skillet does. This skillet also has the Duralon coating. That's a big reason why I went with the New Wave Medley. A lot of other skillets have other types of coatings that aren't as good. I like ceramic type coatings. So this Duralon is pretty good. And also, this only costs about 50 bucks just for the unit. I mean, you can get the unit most anywhere for 50 bucks. But you can basically use this to get your even cooking and your Duralon surface without buying a New Wave pick. I mean, a New Wave pick, even the most basic model of New Wave pick costs more than this. But here, you get the whole skillet and you get steady even temperature Duralon coating and a timer for auto shut off, all for just about 50 bucks. So I think that's a good deal, in my opinion. That's a big reason why I like the medley. The reason why I ordered the medley directly from the folks at New Wave is because there's some things that you can get when you buy from New Wave that you can't get from uh, other retailers when you buy from them. One is this steaming rack. So the steaming rack can be used inside of the medley to uh, basically steam things. And I've got some other ideas for it too. Some other things that I got, I really didn't care about getting these uh, egg holder things. I also sometimes use these for pancakes if I want to keep the pancakes compact. But you can basically form circles with eggs and pancakes with these. But one other thing I did want to get that you only get when you get it through New Wave is this little New Wave twister which is like a little chop prep device to chop up anything you want to chop up. I have something else that I was using, an old uh, little ninja prep it's getting kind of old, so I wanted to go ahead and get something else to use. So just to go through this uh, little prep, it's got a little uh, cup here that you can use to prep things and chop. It's got some lids. This is the unit, the actual unit that is used, and you just basically stick a cup on. This is a smaller cup in there now. Stick a cup on and chop stuff up. <clears throat> Let me get into this medley box. Alright, so going into the medley box. Let's see what's in here. So this here is the actual brains of the unit. This is what uh, pokes into the side of it and uh, keeps the temp. And you also use to make your adjustments. Here's just the uh, lid for the unit. It's pretty, I mean, it's pretty huge. I mean, this thing is big. And then there's the uh, actual skillet here. Here's the skillet. So if you 
skillet pretty big, pretty deep, and it's big and deep. So you can see, I mean, you can fit a lot in here. It's huge. Underneath, it's got the heating unit. You see that heating element kind of goes up and around. Try to get everything real even cooked. And this is the uh, the guide that comes with it. It also includes some recipes in the back for various things you can make. I will say that the reviews online for this are not good. They're not very good. Some people say it doesn't hold heat well or other people say that there are things they don't like about it. But personally, even though there are some not so good reviews about it, personally I like it because, like I said, it has that nice door long coating which I really, really like. And uh, also I'm sure it's going to, you know, even though it may not do a perfect job, to some people's expectations, I do believe it's going to do better than a gas oven, I mean a gas stove with a frying pan on top, which is uh, what I was using as a skillet <laughs> before. So I'm sure it's going to do better than that, you know, just putting a frying pan on a gas stove. I'm sure it's going to be able to keep more even temp than that. But basically this is the unboxing, you know, the new toy that I'll be uh, playing with some around, you know, now and then. and. Uh, so I'll be uh, showing you some more in a bit. Okay, so we've unboxed the New Wave Medley XL skillet. And so now today I'm basically going to show you some of the functions of it. And then I'm going to do a cook of some pancakes and sausages. And we'll have Jordan here helping when we do that cook. So let me get into some of the features and functions and a review of all there is to know about the New Wave Medley XL skillet. All right, so with the New Wave Medley XL Skillet, here it is. I wanted to point out uh, first thing when you're using it, it has a little vent hole here in the cover. Um, if you have a flat surface with a vent over top, that's probably the most ideal location for it. But uh, anywhere you put it, you want to have that vent hole in the back. And when you open it, you want to open it like this so that the steam comes out the back and uh, goes away from you and doesn't uh, harm you. I do realize I have mine over cabinets so you know I'll try and make sure I don't use it so much that I damage my cabinets here. But anyway <clears throat> I'm going to uh, show you how to get this part in. This is the brains of the unit and so you basically just stick that into the hole down there. So I'm just going to get mine plugged in and you want to make sure it's plugged in there well before you do anything else. After you have it there, then you can plug it into your power source. Don't plug it into your power source until you've done that. Now I've plugged it in and I'm going to get you a close up here. Alright, so now I've uh, got it plugged in it's showing off. To turn the unit on, you just tap this one time in. And it defaults to 355 degrees it's blinking because it's heating up. Once it's done heating up to this uh, 355 degrees that temperature will go solid. If you want a different temperature you just turn the knob down for minus, up for plus. You can go all the way up to 425 degrees in 5 degree increments. You can go all the way down to I believe it's, uh, well, I don't want to say I'm being correct so I'm going to just keep going down. I think it hits 100. Yeah, 100 is the minimum. So from 100 up to 425. And then <clears throat> from there, let's say you wanted to set it for a certain amount of time so that it would cook for a certain amount of time to turn off. You just press this button in again. It's defaulted to 30 minutes. It'll um, cook for 30 minutes. You can go up, um, you go up to like 10 hours. You can go down to like um, a minute, I guess. So. You have a lot of versatility there as far as your time and your temperature. And you can just press it again, you tap it again, it shows you your temperature again. If you want to turn the unit off, you just press this button twice. Well, actually press this button for two seconds. Hold the button for two seconds and it goes off. So, you one tap to turn it on, then you can adjust your temperature. One tap again and you can adjust your time if you want to cook for a certain period of time. And then you can tap it one time again to go back to see your temperature if that's what you want to see. Tap it again, go back to see your time again. But when you want to turn it off, just hold that button in for a couple seconds and the unit turns off. So that's how you uh, get things started up with this uh, New Wave Medley 
XL skillet. Okay, so I wanted to talk about um, cleaning the unit. When you're cleaning the medley, you basically, you can, if you can get this into your dishwasher, you can put everything, this part and the bottom part into the dishwasher. Don't put this, don't put the brains of the unit into the dishwasher, but these other parts, they say can go in the dishwasher if they can fit in yours. Personally, I prefer just washing this by hand because it's, uh, you know, it takes some contortion skills to contort things to get it to fit into a dishwasher in a comfortable way for me. I just prefer to do it by hand. But you can do it in a dishwasher if that's your preference. Um, I will also say another reason I like this Dorlon coating is because unlike some other ceramic coatings, you know, you might see some ceramic stuff sold out there and they say you have to season it every few months or so. This Dorlon, you don't have to season it. There's no recommendation at all in the manual anywhere about having to season it on a regular basis for performance. It uh, just works the way it is. So another reason I prefer this Dorlon surface. One other thing I wanted to mention is when you're done using this unit, don't take the uh, brains, the, this part out, and don't start cleaning or anything until it's completely cool. They, they recommend that after you use it, let it set and completely cool down totally before you uh, start taking any parts out or start trying to clean or do anything with it. So always let it cool down first. And also, um, if you have to move the unit while it's hot, always use these handles. All of this, all of that gets real hot. All down here, all around here, real hot. Only the handle, which you may want to use pot holders or something, you know, just for your own safety when you're lifting this off, this doesn't get very hot and the side handles don't get hot but still you may want to use a pot holder for your safety but just keep in mind all of this is going to be real hot so you want to you know keep young kids from touching around there or anything of that sort so basically that's a review of how things function it's very simple super simple to use and how you clean it now it's going to be time to get into cooking those pancakes and sausage so you can see how this thing cooks all right, so for the cook of these uh, buttermilk pancakes, I got a recipe off of Genius Kitchen. I'll uh, leave a link in the description uh, to attribute the source of the recipe. But basically, the recipe is four large eggs, two cups of buttermilk, two cups of uh, all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and I've got four tablespoons of melted butter. And I'm also going to just be using some cooking spray on the uh, New Wave medley when I'm cooking. But to start this recipe, <coughs> I start out by mixing up the eggs until they're frothy. And after I get these eggs mixed up, Jordan, then I'll have you start. I'll start telling you what to pour in and continue mixing. Alright, I'm going to hit the start button on the New Wave Medley. It defaults to 350, so I'm already good to go as far as uh, my cooking temperature. The sausages usually would be cooked at 375, but since I'm cooking at 350, I'm going to be cooking these pancakes. I'm just going to go ahead and cook the sausages in here as well at the same time. While this is getting warmed up, I'm going to hit it with some cooking spray. So I'm just going to lift the lid here. it down. Alright, then let it heat up and then we'll get started uh, cooking these pancakes and I'll break out the frozen sausages and throw those in the mix too. Okay, it took three minutes for it to get to 350 degrees so things are nicely heated up now and so basically to start cooking I take, well the recipe calls for taking a third of a cup of the batter per pancake. So I'm just going to take a third of a cup and throw it in there and see what happens. Alright, that's our first pancake in there. I'm going to make another one. Now 
Jordan, get about six sausage patties and throw them in there. And I'm just try to fit them in where the pancakes are not. <laughs> and that paper is really easy on you. See, you can throw that out. We got two pancakes, six sausages. Hand that box to your brother. Yeah. You can put that in the refrigerator, please. <coughs> put that in the freezer. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna let things cook. It's gonna take uh, a few, probably about four minutes for the pancakes to get set and then I flip them. I'll probably give the sausages about maybe six minutes and then flip those over. So just gonna let things cook. All right it's only been a few minutes. It's been uh, maybe three minutes and those pancakes are looking bubbly so I'm gonna flip them. It's good. Look real good. All right, so it's been a few minutes. Well, not even a few minutes. It's been like two minutes. And that other side's already done, so I'm just gonna get the pancakes off. Basically, took about five minutes to complete the pancakes. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and flip the sausage. I'm just going to set all the sausages over here. Then get the spatula cleaned off, put some more pancakes on. How many are you going to put in? Pancakes? Yeah. I mean like um, this. Oh, this too. So I get these sausages out of the way. I don't have a ring. The pancakes are Alright, it's been a few minutes flipping the pancakes. There's a little cook there. Let me temperature test my sausage. I'm just going to use the eye grill two straight up and just test one. See what temperature I get. Moving pretty slow. I'm going to keep keep cooking those. Go ahead and check my pancakes out. Then about four minutes for those pancakes. And yeah, they're about done. Pull them off. Slide on a couple more. I'm going to give these sausages another flip. Sausages have been cooking for about 10 minutes now. I am noticing some of these sausages are cooking more than others. Like these cook a lot more on one side and these haven't cooked as much. 
So that does indicate that the medley is not cooking as evenly as uh, I guess could be. It's cooking everything up, but some things are not cooking as evenly as others. But as long as it gets the cook done, that's what we really care about here. Things are getting pretty hot in there. All right, it's been about four minutes on my, these pancakes. I think they're about done. Yep, they're good and done. See the other side. Stack those up. All right, and just test the sausage here again. I get this one that looks like he's the less cooked one there. Get it in there good. Now it's running up good. Yeah, I think it's going to be done. I'm going to have to get that temperature probe in there good. Oops, let's put that. Get it deep in the meat. It's kind of tough with sausage being thin to make sure you get it in the meat good. But we're going past 170, so we're good. Sausage is done. I do see that the surface is not sticking. Nothing's really sticking at all to the surface. I mean, there's no stick at all. This door line is great for non-stick. We'll see how many pancakes I can fit on now that I got the sausages off. You can get about four pancakes comfortably. Um, I guess you could try and squeeze more if you wish, but about four comfortably at a time. All right, so Jordan's gonna do a taste test of the sausage. So I'm gonna let him do that real quick. Be careful. All right, Jordan's cutting himself a slice of sausage. He's gonna taste test now. You need water? All right, tell the folks on the camera what you think of the sausage. Um, it tastes good and it's fully cooked through. There's no frost and it's not cold anywhere on the inside. All right, well thank you, Jordan. And thank you for your help today, Jordan. I'm gonna let your brother DJ taste test the pancakes, okay? So you can take that on and, and go on. All right, and for some of you, if you haven't been watching my other channels, you probably haven't seen this guy. This is my oldest son, DJ Darnell Jr. And he's going to taste test our pancakes for us. He's going to be a pancake tester. Let me get him a good one to taste test here. All right. DJ, get yourself a fork and a knife in there. Okay, DJ is cutting himself part of the pancake. He's just going to taste it straight up for the taste test. And of course, we'll use syrup when we're eating these for our breakfast and such. He's got a pancake and he's eating it. And when you're ready, DJ, do you need water? Alright, when you're ready, tell us what you think and uh, let's cook it now. It's good, it's moist and soft and chewy. Moist, soft, and chewy. Is it uh, like IHOP or. Don't know. Is it better than IHOP? Don't know. Alright, is it good though? It's good. Is it not good? Kind it, it's kinda. It's okay. Not big. Uh, Come on back. Come on back. Tell us your honest opinion. Come on back. It's not that good because of the syrup. I don't have any syrup, but. Okay. You want to try this some syrup? You want to try a taste with some syrup? No. Are you gonna have pancakes? Yeah. You gonna have pancakes? So they're good enough that he wants some more. But you know, I like to do those straight up taste tests without any condiments or anything just to taste the product and uh, I guess that doesn't work for kids but I guess they're good when you got syrup is <laughs> the assessment there. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with the cooking of these pancakes but I think um, you get the idea here we're, we're going to continue with, with these pancakes. 
still got a lot more batter left. Basically you can make a ton of pancakes with this mix. I'm going to just go ahead and uh, you know I think you get the idea. You can make a ton of pancakes and we got our sausage done and you've got your taste test. Eat your pancakes with your syrup and they'll be good. <laughs> um, also you know basically you see how it cooked up. I think it does well you know I'm not you know things are getting at times it seems like it gets hot and it has to regulate down. But overall, it is controlling the temp because that batch of pancakes that I just did, they did seem to come down, the, the skillet seemed to come down and temp some to make sure that it didn't keep cooking too hot. So I like the skillet. I think it's a, a good deal. And so this has basically been your full review, demonstration, explanation, unboxing, and all that good stuff of the New Wave Medley XL Skillet. And so uh, you can find plenty of great recipes at superwaveovenrecipes.com. I'm on Twitter at Wave Oven Recipes. Also, please leave your comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with friends, subscribe to the channel, and good eating. Okay, now DJ's eating his pancakes with syrup. Tell them what you think now. They're good, they're moist and chewy, and with syrup, they taste better. All right, now they're better than I hop? Yep. Now they're better than I hop. There's one other thing I want to mention to you in a sec here. I wanted to mention that the timer on this skillet is always running. So even when you first start it up, even if you don't go to set the timer to anything beyond 30 minutes, it defaults to 30 minutes. So if you use this skillet and you just turn it on and start cooking, after 30 minutes it's going to cut off. Unless you tap it again and up the time. See, I've up my time. You tap it again and up the time. I've upped my time to like almost three hours just so that I have enough time to make sure I finish everything. But, uh, well, make sure that's 250. That was, I mean, 350. That was 350. So, basically, the timer always runs. Keep that in mind. That as soon as you start it, as soon as you start cooking, you got 30 minutes or it's going to shut off on you unless you up the time. So, if you want to just cook something, you know, long term, you're going to be cooking pancakes for over 30 minutes, just set it up to several hours. Till you're done, they've cut it off manually. So, hope you enjoyed this, and again, good eating. <laughs>